do not call a teacher. Parent-teacher conferences are over. It's crazy, though. You go from being so involved to being totally cut off. And honestly, I don't think it's fair. It's so abrupt. So many of you who have been enmeshed, intertwined, who have been part of your kid's life, all of a sudden it's like, boom, you're done. No parent-teacher conferences. It is really abrupt. And it's very unfair. But college professors don't want to hear from you. And in fact, there's something called FERPA. I don't know if you're familiar with FERPA. FERPA is the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, FERPA. We'll include this with the show notes. But FERPA says that if your child is 18, you don't have as many rights when it comes to inspecting their grades, looking at their records, getting access to some of their financial happenings as well. So if you want to pay, if they're like, you want, you need to pay, you need to make sure you have a waiver and have access to be able to pay. But if you call a teacher, then they're going to tell you they, they can't share information because of FERPA. They're going to use FERPA. Okay. So don't, don't call. And here's the thing. If you are, if you're someone who feels like you need to call, and the only time would be a medical emergency where your kid's incapacitated and can't make that call themselves. And if you do call, you you can explain that you're aware that this is unusual. And if you're someone who wants to call and your kid can't advocate, that's a whole other issue. But this is a time where your child needs to advocate. For those of you who have younger kids, this idea of advocating, learning how to advocate early on is so key because college is when they're going to have to say the things they need to communicate. This is why I'm a big fan. I am a I am a big fan of practicing this in high school. A lot of these things I'm talking about, you can ease into these things as you progress through high school. 